Welcome guys, welcome to another week in freight where I'm going to cover the nation and show you where to place your truck and what I'm looking for is freight volumes. You find the freight volumes, you'll find the area you need to place your truck. If you like what I'm about to show you, in the description there's a link. Click that link, try it out for free for 30 days. As I always say, free is free and don't haul cheap. With that tool, no matter what lane you're in, whether you're familiar with it or not, you'll have the trucker's edge and know what those rates and the lanes are going for. Hey everybody, I just want to uh, encourage uh, anybody out there to join Bobtail. They're like the best out there. Ever since I started my business of being booming, uh, my money's in the bank, same day. Uh, you, they there when, when you need them. Um, and they're just great, man. Just just call them. Uh, there's no contract, uh, no, hidden, um, no hidden fees, no minimum, uh, no reserve. It's, um, and it's first, first month is free, so just, just call them up. All right, cool. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at the national load count. Let's change this up back over to van. And this is going to be for dry van today. Uh, the dry van market is showing, like for example, Alabama right here, it's showing 427 loads going in versus 794 coming out, which means there's more outbound loads than trucks going in. So Alabama is going to be a strong market. Arizona is the same. Arkansas is super strong. And California, well, it looks like they're still rocking and rolling. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through here. And if you want to see what state you're going to, just pause the video. Iowa's looking good. Georgia's looking good. <laughs> uh, the volumes are still here, guys. But keep in mind, this is the last week of the quarter. So I hope you capitalize and make all the money you can this week. Mississippi Stout, North Carolina, Ohio. South Carolina, super strong. South Dakota, eh, it's a little offset. Texas is a little offset. There's a lot of freight going in and out of Texas. So, let's dive right in, shall we? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like I do every week. If you're, if you're new, thank you. And if you like what I'm about to show you, uh, consider subscribing, because I do these videos on the regular Try to help you guys stay profitable. And then, as always, I'm going to start in Atlanta. And I'm going to work my way around. 120-mile radius. General vans. And let's do today and tomorrow. For June 25th, June 26th. 2,500... <laughs> Goodness. Oh, that's a lot of loads in Georgia, guys. Now... With this thing right here, you see this little tab right here, offer, pickup, origin, blase, 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 all the information. You click this offer tab, and it's going to show you the brokers that's got an offer, like this one right here, Calhoun to Kent, Washington. They're offering $5,500 for it because they're wanting to move it. And it's this agent right here. What is that, Bergenstar? Anyway, another tool on the 15 day average right here on the pro version is it gives you the 15 day average. That load's been pushing for about almost 4,800 bucks. On the average, they're trying to push it for 455, so they're a little above average, which shows a reflection of there's more loads than trucks in the area. Here's a lane I like to run. This load's been going for 3244. They're trying to push it for 37. All right, now that you know how that works, let's just. I'm going to try to be swift here and just look at the volumes, see what's going on. So let's shoot over to Birmingham, Birmingham market, which is going to catch a lot of the uh, Atlanta market, the Georgia market. Uh, almost 1,100 loads in the Birmingham area. Let's go to Dallas. Dallas is sitting pretty. With 13, oh, I don't think you can see this. Let me twist this just a little bit. All right, 1367 in the Dallas market. Dallas is looking pretty strong. Let's see here, Houston. Houston is falling behind Dallas this week. 1,011 loads, which is still, still, it's super, super strong. Let's go over to Phoenix. Phoenix is where I'm heading. So let's 
dive into Phoenix. 759 loads for the Phoenix market. Hartford, Connecticut for 55. I just got a load alert. Uh, Phoenix going up to uh, somewhere in Massachusetts for 5000 at a dollar ninety a mile. Showing right here, this is Hartford. It's not Massachusetts, but about the same same rate, same lane. They need to get that. They need to get that load up there. Well, here's a load I wouldn't mind hauling. Forty-seven hundred dollars to go to Pensacola. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna have to check into that load. Uh, no, I'd rather go to Pensacola for <laughs> for forty-seven hundred. All right, where am I? I'm in Phoenix. Hell, let's shoot over to Los Angeles. Now, Los Angeles has been booming. Let's see if they can still maintain it. I, I say they are. I hadn't looked yet, but I'm going to say they are. 1,850 loads in the California market. Nice. 1,850 in the L.A. market. Let's shoot up to Tracy. California. Let's bump this up to 180 to get SAC and, you know, the whole Bay Area and Sacramento. 951 loads still pretty strong still pretty strong that's that's super stout for uh northern cal let's shoot up to portland i've been seeing a lot of loads go up to portland but there's there's there hadn't been a good volume of outbound so yeah i'm not trying to go up to uh portland or seattle when they don't have a, a good outbound load uh 137 loads that's not even enough to even Ah, just it's just not a strong market. Let's go to Seattle. Ooh. Seattle's been the same. They 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 get good loads going in. This week coming out, 145 loads coming out. So I, I just I want to go up there, but the the market's coming out. It's just it's just been weak. Let's shoot down to Kansas City. Kansas City's coming in with. So, goodness, uh, Kansas is stout. <laughs> this is usually just a couple hundred loads. Kansas is stout, 754 loads. Let's shoot over to St. Louis. St. Louis, come in. What you got? 1,058 loads in the St. Louis, Missouri area. Yeah, St. Louis is looking solid with 1,057 loads. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. Moving on, let's shoot over to Nashville. I was just over in the Nashville market. Well, Knoxville. More of Knoxville than Nashville, but it was still pretty solid. 1,046 loads in the Nashville market. Now, let's shoot over down to Orlando. Orlando's coming in with eight, oh, 371 exacts. It's pretty strong for Orlando. Good luck on getting a good rate on it, but I've seen some good ones when I was down there two weeks ago yeah two weeks ago there was some good loads <laughs> and it was a what was that a, <clears throat> a friday no it's sunday night they had loads on this dot board sunday night ready to be picked up for like over two dollars a mile coming out of uh the lakeland area uh miami's showing in with 81 let's shoot up to savannah let's see how the ports are working that's gonna pick up some Jacksonville as well. 732 loads in that in that area. Savannah market ugh. Savannah market is stout. Let's go to Columbia. Columbia, South Carolina, what you got? 1671 loads. <laughs> Columbia, South Carolina is solid. Let's go up to uh, Charlotte, let's let's check out Charlotte, North Kakalaki. See if you can compete with Columbia. I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> you beat Columbia, so there you go. The Carolinas is still super strong. Let's go up to Rich Richmond, Virginia. Six hundred and sixteen loads in the Richmond area. Let's go up to let's bump this up to 200 and just get an extreme northeast 
load count <clears throat> around Jersey, New York, all that good stuff up there. 2,100 loads. Jesus. Now let's shoot over to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Pa, what you got? 812 loads in the Pittsburgh market. And let's shoot over to Canton, Ohio, up there in that Cleveland area. Man, this coffee is good. 1,034 loads in the Canton, Cleveland area. Let's check out Columbus and then shoot up towards Detroit. 1387 in the Columbus market. Jesus. Let's see. Detroit, Michigan. What do you got? 484 loads in the D Detroit area. Let's check out Holland. Five hundred fifty-two. So Detroit, you got some loads up there. You get a good rate going to Detroit, but go ahead and jump on it. Let's check out uh, St. Paul. It was weak last time I was up there. Let's see if they're pumping out some freight. Three hundred thirty-six exact loads. Eh, it's not too weak, but it could be better. Let's check out Chicago. What do you got, Shot Town? Shot Town's coming in with 1697. So Shot Town is back on on top. Shot Town is on the market. Shot Town is kicking. But uh, well, guys, if you want to know what I'm going to do, you already I already said I'm coming out of the, the Phoenix market. And I'm probably going to see if I can find see if I can get a load going to uh, Pensacola. Um, that 4700 bucks looked pretty enticing to go to Pensacola. And I, I've always had good luck with getting loads out of Pensacola. Um, Mobile area, little shore hops. Maybe go back to the house. I don't know. Fourth of Ju Fourth of July is coming up, so I do want to buy some boom booms. So we'll find out. But I'm gonna tell you right now: if you're in the southeast, if you're in the Cali market, if you're in the Midwest market, and you're in the Northeast market, uh, I don't think you're gonna have a problem making money this week. So again, maybe this will su sustain, but this is the last week of the quarter. So a lot of these companies are just trying to uh, make their books look good and move some freight. So take advantage because it might not sustain the 1st of um, January or uh, July. So take advantage. Run these rates up. Run them up. Run them up. Run them up. Anyways, guys, if you're still hanging around, you rock. I uh, appreciate you. Uh, be sure to ring the bell notification if you hadn't. That way you'll get all these videos when I do them weekly. That's right. Guys, you got to think how to rise. And winners never quit. And quitters, well, they never win. See you, bye.